the values of x and y are connected by the equation this one here as shown in the table below so this is the table that is showing how x and y are connected so the first question says calculate the value of p so p is here all right so for us to calculate the value of p we are going to depend on the equation that we've been given here so you need to answer the whole of this question on the sheet of graph paper remember they are saying calculate the value of p for us to calculate the value of p we are going to rely on the equation that we've been given which is y is equal to x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 5 all right so this is the equation that we are going to rely on now when you look at the table you can see that these are the x values and these are the y values and p is on the y values so meaning where there is y here uh, we can replace p so we can say p is equal to now x x the x value you are going to get the corresponding value of p any number that is going to be on top there so you are going to pick in this case a 2 so you pick 2 and remember everything is being raised to the power 3 then plus 4 then x is a 2 squared plus x is a 2 then minus uh, 5. So this is paper 2 and because it's paper 2 instead of you wasting your time trying to figure out this using your head you are going to use a calculator. You are going to punch everything on the calculator. So you are going to write 2 cubed plus 4 times 2 to the power 2 then plus 2 then minus 5 to find the value of p so you see that p is 21 so p is equal to 21 so meaning here you have 21 the second part says using a scale of two centimeters to represent one unit on the x-axis and two centimeters to represent five units on the y-axis for the x values from negative 4 to 2 and the y values from negative 10 to 25 draw a graph of y is equal to x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 5 all right so first of all this is where the trick is when they say use a scale of two centimeters to represent one unit so what you have to know is that eh, the big distance or the big square from here to there is two centimeters that's what they mean when they say two centimeters from here to there is two centimeters again from here to there is two centimeters and then from here counting five graduations one two three four five so up to here this is one centimeter all right so they want you to use a big box or a big square which is two centimeters to represent one unit on the x axis all right now they are also saying the values or the x coordinates should range from negative four to two so you need to plan the, your graph very well so if we say we put the origin zero to be here remember they are saying the x coordinates should range from negative four to two so if we put zero here are we going to have negative four on the left let's see negative one negative two negative three negative four okay so we are having negative four so if we put zero here we'll have negative four on the left and then two on the right so this is fitting very well again on the y-axis they are saying use a scale of two centimeters to represent five units for the y values from negative 10 to positive 25 so if we say this you put a zero here let's see if we have 25 up there so we have 0 5 10 15 20 
25 so it's fitting so this permits us to put zero here or to put this as an origin so we have negative one this side negative two negative three negative four they said we stop at negative four again here on the right they said we need to stop at two so we have one two we are stopping here then we are going to have five ten fifteen twenty and twenty five we will stop at twenty five because the the instructions are that we stop at twenty five then down here we're going to have negative five and negative ten so what is needed is just for us to draw the axis the axis like this so this is the x axis and this is the y axis so remember they want us to plot these points and draw the graph so but before we plot we start plotting we need to know what each of the square small squares on the x axis represent so to do that we are going to say 1 minus 0 is 1 then 1 divided by uh, the number of graduations 1 divided by the number of graduations so 1 divided by the number of graduations is 10 so we have 0 0.1 so meaning each of these small graduations is 0 0.1 what about in the y-axis we have a difference of 5 so we have 5 divided by 10 5 divided by 10 so say 5 divided by 10 which is 0 0.5 okay 0 0.5 so meaning each of these small graduations or demarcations is 0 0.5 in the y all right so we can now begin to plot with that information so we have the x coordinate as negative 4 then y negative 9 so negative 4 you go on the x every time begin from x x negative 4 then y negative 9 so remember in the y axis each smaller graduation is 0 0.5 so if this is 5 then two boxes will represent one so we have six seven eight nine so nine nine will be here then the next point is negative three comma one negative three comma one so negative three is here then point five point one one is here then the next point is negative two comma one negative two is here then one is here just like the one we plotted before here one is here then the next point is negative one comma negative three so negative one is here negative one negative two negative three is here so negative three is here the next point is zero comma negative five so zero comma negative five 0 comma negative 5 it's here then the next point is 1 comma 1 so 1 comma 1 so 0 0.5 point 1 1 comma 1 is here then the next point is 2 comma 21 remember p we found 21 so 2 is here then 20 is here 0 0.5 then 1 so 21 is here all right so what is needed now is for us to draw a smooth curve okay a smooth curve by joining all these points so a smooth curve by joining these points like this like this so you even label this as y is equal to x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 5 
because this curve is for that equation. All right, if you are with me up to this point, it means you're enjoying what I'm doing. Why can't you subscribe, comment, hit the like button, and share? All right, the next question, which is part three, says, use your graph to find the solutions of the equations x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 5 is equal to 0. So they want you to use this graph that you've formed to find the solution of this equation. So what do you do? All right. When you look at this, this part of this equation, this part of this equation, this one here, this part, and this part of the equation that you were given, you can see that they are the same. You have x cubed, x cubed, positive 4x squared, positive 4x squared, x, x, minus 5, minus 5. So you can see that this has been equated to y, which means the whole of this thing is y. So meaning they want you to find the solution of the equation y is equal to 0. Okay? y is equal to 0 using uh, this graph that you have drawn. Now, which line is y is equal to 0? So you have to know that along the x-axis, y is equal to 0. The y-coordinate is 0. Because you can see, as you are going up, the numbers or the y-coordinates are increasing. As you are going down, they are decreasing until you reach 0. So this line here, y is equal to 0. So where this curve is cutting the x-axis, that's where they want you to find the solutions. So you can see that the curve is cutting the x-axis here. It's also cutting the x-axis here. It's also cutting the x-axis here. So here, the value of x is what? Is, remember we said in the x-axis, each smaller graduation is a 0.1. Okay, so this is negative 3.1. So you're going to say x is equal to negative 3.1. Then we also go here where the this graph is cutting the curve as well. So this is negative 1.1.2.3.4.5.6.7. So this is x is equal to negative 1.7. Then we also come here where the curve is cutting the graph. It's 0 0.1234567. 8. So it's cutting at a, x is equal to 0 0.8. All right, so you have used this graph that you've come up with to solve this equation. B, they are saying, use your graph to find the solutions of the equation x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 5 is equal to 2x plus 4. So we're going to follow the same procedure that we followed earlier. When you look at this side of this equation and this side here of the equation that you are given, they are the same, and this side is equated to y. But in this case, we'll have, this is y. In this case, we're going to have y being equated to that. To this so you have y is equal to 2x plus 4 so they want you to draw this straight line on on the on the curve on the graph then use it to find the solutions okay so to do that uh, this is what we are going to do you are going to draw a table of values like this so you have x and y so in the first place assume that x is 0. So in the first place all the time, assume that x is 0. So meaning you're going to put on the x coordinate here, you're going to put a 0. So now, if you replace 0 where there's x there, 
you have y is equal to 2 times 0, which is 0. The whole of this thing becomes a 0. So what you have is just a 4, positive 4 here. So in the first place, you assume that x is equal to 0. Now, you are going to assume that what if y is 0? If y is 0, remember the equation is uh, y is equal to 2x plus 4. So if y is 0, meaning where there is y here, you are going to put 0 is equal to 2x plus 4. Then take away 4, take away 4, so that this becomes a 0. Then you have negative 4 is equal to 2x. To get the value of x, divide by 2. So you are just solving this equation, guys. So you have x is equal to negative 4 divided by 2 being negative 2. So x is negative 2. So negative 2. Okay, so if this is negative 2, then you are going to assume that this is the next one will be negative 1. If, it, if this is negative 1, it means that if we replace a negative 1 where there is x there, we are going to have 2 times negative 1, which is just negative 2, plus 4, you have a positive 2 here. So we are going to use these, these points, these three points, to plot a, a straight line and use it to solve the equation. So we have 0, 4, 0, 4. So comma 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 4 is here. Then negative 2, 0. Negative 2, 0 is here. Then negative 1, 2. Negative 1, 2. 2 is, this is 1, 2. 2 is here. So you just join these points. You join these points and make sure that they are cutting the curve. Join these points like this. So you can see that the line that we've drawn is cutting the the curve here is also cutting the curve here and it's also cutting the curve there. Remember this is y is equal to uh, the equation is this 2x plus 4. So you read the value of x up here. So you also read the value of x here and also here where the graph is cutting the curve here. So we'll begin by this one. So we have 3.12345 and it's, it's in the middle. So it's negative. So we have x is equal to negative 3.12345 and it's in the middle. So it's 5.5. Negative 3.5. Five. Then x is equal to here, where this line is cutting the the curve is negative one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Negative one point seven, and x is equal to uh, we have one, two, three. One point three. So these are the x values when you use this graph to solve uh, this equation. Thank you very much for watching and if you want to learn how to use the graph of the cubic function to solve or to estimate the gradient and the area, you can just watch the video that is showing on the screen.